Hello and welcome back. Today we'll complete our first chapter of biology for year second year two. Okay, and our chapter talks about nutrition. And the last thing we mentioned the last time was the adaptation of the root hair to its function and we said that the concentration of the solution inside the root hair is higher than the concentration of the solution outside the root hair. So the water and the mineral salts are transferred from the soil, from outside the cell, inside it. And we will illustrate that saying that here if, if we have these like containers this is outside and this is inside this is the root hair cell and this is outside the root hair cell and here in the soil medium this is the solution here and this is the solution here we got here only one container of the three is occupied by the solution while here We got two of them inside the cell is occupied by the solution. So we say that the solution inside the root hair cell is more concentrated than the solution outside because here we have two and here is only one. While the concentration of water outside the root cell is more than the concentration inside. So the water moves from outside to inside by various methods which are as follows. We have here diffusion. and permeability we get here imbibition and osmosis that are the methods by which the element transfer from the outside medium the medium of the soil inside the root hair cell. The first one is called the diffusion and diffusion means the movement of the ions or molecules from a high concentrated medium to a low concentrated one as we mentioned that the water concentration outside is higher than the water concentration inside so the water moves by diffusion by example, for example into the root hair cell and we can see this phenomenon of diffusion by letting a drop of ink fall into a container that contains water like this if we have here water and a drop of ink falls downwards it diffuses all the corners of the container and its color becomes red due to the diffusion of the molecules of the ink because it's highly concentrated here in the drop of ink then the medium which doesn't contain any ink at all so they diffuse in all the parts of the container and the color of the water turns to red this is the first method by which water uh, 
moves from the outside to inside. We have also permeability, and we say that we can say that the permeability of the walls inside the plant is different from each other, so that we can see some walls are yeah, can allow all the molecules to pass from the outside to inside, and some of them such as the ones which is covered with butene, lignine, and sumerine. are impermeable at all, while others can allow the, pa the passage of some molecules and block the passage of others. For example, we have something called the plasma membrane which surrounds the cell, so it allows the passage of water and mineral salts because they are small molecules as this membrane contains holes by which the uh, water and the mineral uh, salts can pass while it blocks the passage of sugar and amino acids because they are large sized molecules and this phenomenon is called semi-permeability so we have here plasma membrane is called semi-permeable membrane The third method here is called the imperfection, so that the large molecules, especially the colloidal ones, can absorb the water from the surrounding medium and store it, then move it outside, and we can notice that the surface area of the root is all covered with colloidal substances or molecules which imbibe water from the outside to inside. Here is the last method by which the elements transfer from the outside medium to the inside medium which is called osmosis. And osmosis means the transfer of water molecules from a highly concentrated medium, as we mentioned in the soil medium, to a low concentrated one inside the root cell by means of a semi-permeable membrane which is the plasma membrane here. And the difference between the highly concentrated medium and the low concentrated medium here is outside and here is inside. This is the highly concentrated medium and this is the low concentrated one. The difference between both of them is called the osmotic pressure and this osmotic pressure is the mean by which the water moves from the outside of the plant to the inside of it. And the osmotic pressure increases when the solution concentration inside the soil medium increases because the water concentration will decrease inside the soil as we said if we have here three particles and we got only one shaded here which contains a solution another one contains a solution so the concentration of water decreases and it needs more pressure to push it inside the root hair cell. Those were the methods by which the water and the mineral salt water transfers inside the plant and this is uh, this is only the four methods that it was for today and see you next time. Thanks for watching.